Hello, it's been having a background action, and I'm so keen for this one. Paramore, one of my favorite bands of all time. I've seen them live every time I've come to my city, whether that be festivals, solo shows. Oh my god, their discography, iconic. The storyline of just the band and how it has evolved and kept going, I just love. I think they're one of the only bands to really survive the leaving, the coming back, and all the, I guess, the toxicity that they've been through and things like that. They're just such an iconic band. Obviously, we had Haley's two albums in between, but it's been like six, seven years since their last album, After Laughter. Oh, if I was reacting back when I was first to Paramore 2007, I still remember my friend seeing the Riot album, Insanity. It was like the album that they were playing. She told us about it. We were hooked. Obviously, we'd missed the first album. We went back and yeah, it's been it's been a ride. 2007, we're now in 2022. It's insane. They had announced the new single, This Is Why, and obviously with the release of that, that we've got a music video and now we've got an album that's coming in February. I am so, so, so keen. Album cover, obviously, <laughs> very Paramore. Weird, obscure, who knows what it means. It's also the album's name, This Is Why, so this really should encompass everything that's coming. It's track one, it's the first single, it's the album name, so I think we're in for a bang. Now, I've no idea what to expect from them anymore. You really can't know what to expect because every album is so different, so unique, and they always just do, yeah. All I know is we're gonna get some sick lyrics. We're probably gonna get a song that we're gonna drive around to. I'm keen, I'm so happy that they're releasing music together. I'm so, yeah, if you followed Haley's journey, you know, with her solo stuff, her interviews and everything she's kind of gone through, and I've reacted to Flowers for Vase on my channel, go check it out. Iconic album, groundbreaking. Yeah, such an amazing, amazing album. How about we're here for Paramore. It's not just Hayley. Paramore is a band. I'm keen to get into this new single, this new music video. We're going to go on with the song, go on with the video and see what the hell is going on. You know I need one. Not even a straw today. If you're new to my channel, hello. If you are and you like my vids, hit like and subscribe. The full uncast of everything of mine is on my Patreon. Link is down below. Let's get straight into the song. This is why. Let's go. I'm like, I'm so like, I'm like, what are we going to get? definitely gonna grow on me it's not as I get I love the chorus that we're like do 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 oh yeah this is why I guess it's like I don't know someone trying to catch you out all the time I mean the lyrics are quite self-explanatory but I'm sure there's such a deeper meaning to it a lot of the songs you can always read them as like the band singing them to you know the world of I guess how much crap they've taken from you know different people this is why I love that like one step out of the house feels like a total free fall so maybe you're just so caught off guard and things like that I'd be interested to hear what you guys think of the song of Hayley I might I'll obviously probably go and start listening to interviews and watching them but I'd be keen to hear what you guys think the song's about. Production very fun delicious it definitely gives you reminiscence of her two solo albums I think just by the way she's delivering her voice it's quite similar you know eerie little vibe but then that chorus kicking in is that quintessential paramount like giving you a hook. I mean I was listening to Right the other day so it's so so different and I, every album with theirs is different and I think this was the same with their debut like self-titled 
now was a cool lead single, but then when Still Into You came out, it was such a banger. So like, I think there's going to be stronger songs than this one. I don't think Paramore is super known for giving iconic debut singles. I think Misery Business might have been a debut. However, yeah, I definitely think there's going to be better songs on the album. For me, anyway, I think this will be a grower, but I really love that chorus. Like, doon, doon, doon. I don't leave the house like that is really cool. Like I said, so different and I guess because it's the first new Paramore in seven years and we've just been so into Hayley's style of her solo stuff. It might take a bit for me to get into this one. I'm keen for the music video though. Let's see what they got. I'm so keen to see them all together. Let's go. Ooh, landscape. Alright, this really does make that noise now. See, I already like it more like with this second listen. I'm like, it's gonna be a grow up. Zachy boy. Yeah, it's... Perfectly catching this vibe. Ooh. <laughs> uh, it's like seeing them do it now with Central Paramore. It's a summer vibe. They just are cool people. <laughs> yeah, you just need to see Hayley perform. It's this weird, quirky, it's them. Uh -huh. Wow, they went in with the cinematography. The hair is also so good. Oh my god, yes, yes. Love this cement building, where are they? Ooh. Yeah, I love this now. <laughs> love what he's doing. I feel that's with every Paramore here, you just gotta let yourself sink into it. Oh, there we go! Yes, and then let it catch us. You will catch me up. Bang up. Yeah, this is perfect. This is just so well shot. Oh, that is a lot. Not long enough. What's going on? Yeah. So quite like an isolated feeling you get from this scene, which is, I guess, is what the song's probably about. Whoa. I knew it would be grow it already from that second feel. I was already vibing before, you know, the visuals really kicked in, but just seeing their visuals, I mean, always stunarama, but wow, definitely just gave you the feel of that song, the aesthetic, the vibe, the location. Loved all those shots, such model, like, yeah, definitely a very, like, fashion, modelly driven kind of video, but still with that storyline in there. I definitely think, you know, it's probably about her anxiety and things like that, I guess, wanting to leave the house or maybe even coming back to the band or starting something new. I guess with all the opinions you get from different people, I love that, you know, her taking that free fall or that first step out of that comfort zone. They were there to catch her. That visual representation was absolutely perfect and I don't know if that's exactly what it is but that's definitely an impression I got. The lipstick scenes definitely like yeah I guess almost like a dark cloud but she's done it in red lipstick I guess like just consuming her and just that scene with the mirror and that final stroke perfect oh my god stunning makes the song I'm getting goosebumps even just thinking about what I'm thinking it could be about love it I'm so keen for an album I usually don't want them to release more singles until an album but I'm like I need more music like give me more singles I'm so keen for this album I definitely think it's gonna yeah I know After Laughter really did tackle a lot of these things but I think this one is it feels a lot maturer it feels like After Laughter's mature older sibling who isn't maybe as happy you know is a bit quirky in the delivery but still has some really heavy content and it's classic Paramore right when the music sounds sad it's like happy and then when it's happy it's sad. I love the, you know, the opposites. Love. Obsessed. New era. Come at us. Are you guys keen? Are the para whores out there? <laughs> Let me know down below. Let me know when you started listening to them. Have you been listening to them a long time or a recent time? I was watching some music videos like Crush, Crush, Crush. People were commenting. I just found them. So it's awesome to see them being exposed. But yeah, their discography. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. Incredible. I can't wait to have this as an addition. So keen. The full cut this is on Patreon. Link is down below. I'm on Instagram at Grippin. Hit me up if you like my bids. Like and subscribe. Hope you're gonna go. I'm gonna go. Ben is gonna go.